Hey everybody! Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is Komali100, and in the last episode, we continued exploring Clock Town. Col received the schedules for a lot of the NPCs and registered in our farmer's notebook, and did a little bit of exploring in Terminal Field. So now we are going to con continue our adventure and head towards the Southern Swamp. Oh wait, totally forgot something. <laughs> We had also received our first happy mask in the game, that's the cafe's mask, and there is also one more happy mask we can get. Now we were told by the great fairy in our first three day cycle that if we ever return to our true self, she can do more for us, so we're gonna make our way and we're gonna have to restore the great fairy once again. This is all just a repeat from the first three day cycle. Probably why I'm not speaking very much. <laughs> and because she's already granted us magic power, all she can do for us right now is heal us. In addition to what she's about to give us right now. This is the Great Fairies Mask. It will allow uh, you to collect stray fairies easily. Each of the four dungeons throughout the game have their own stray fairies and corresponding stray fairy or fairy fountain. And collecting the 15 stray fairies in each dungeon and taking them back to the fairy fountain will give you a special reward. Once again, this is a 100% walkthrough, so we're going to be getting every one of those stray fairies. And it's really um, beneficial for you to actually get them because they do give out pretty helpful rewards. Alright, now that that's done we can truly make our way to the Southern Swamp. Just step over that flower.
So with that we get a little more detail into the backstory of the Skull Kid. It really makes him quite pitiful, but since he got Majora's Mask, he's evil. So, um, there was a piece of heart I could have gotten back in uh, Criminal Field, but I'm gonna get it later when it's not so out of the way. Um, a lot of bats flying around, or keys, whatever they're called in this game. Here we have a Grodo um, with a chest inside. It contains 20 rupees. Once again, you need to collect rupees. I cannot stress that enough. Don't worry about those stupid Deku Babas. Okay. Now, you're gonna wanna hang around and attract all the keys towards you. And not get hit, or try not to get hit. That one is stationary. Okay, no, it wasn't on. That one is stationary. It's gonna just sit there on the vines, so you can't climb up there. But we're gonna use our bubble blowing abilities to knock it out. Here we go. Climb up the tree, and you will find. None other than a piece of heart. It's piece of heart number five, I believe. Gonna don the Deku mask once more. We got another map we can buy from Tingle. Again, if you buy the maps in the area that they're for, they're cheaper. Don't don't waste your rupees by buying maps ahead of time. Welcome to the Southern Swamp. Since the trouble at Woodfall has fallen into a state of disrepair with much of the southern, more southern portion of the swamp being poisonous, you swipe at the owl statue to activate it. Then those will be helpful later on. Ooh, fairy! Fairy, fairy, fairy. I don't really need it, but pretty. <laughs> Here, if you talk to this de uh, business girl as a Deku, he'll um, offer to give you his the deed to his property if you trade him the uh, the land title deed for Clock Town. Scratch that. If you talk to him as a Deku, he sells you magic beans. Okay. Talk to him as Link, and he will offer to trade. Now that 
we have found this property, we can use the deco flower to get to the top of this roof, where there is none other than another piece of heart. Piece of heart number six. Wait, what? Oh, to the. Hmm, someone's searching for fairies. Who could that be? <laughs> but we don't have any. So it would seem that the um, boat tour guide is, we can find her at the um, ha ha the Hag's Potion Shop. So just head east. Up along the water. I just think nice time already. Yeah, I missed the deco nut, so what? Got that one. Co-take? Don't worry, they're not evil. He's not in this universe. Okay, so we have to go find Comb in the uh, mysterious woods. Now, the mi or Woods of Mystery, sorry. There's a monkey here who will lead you to Cone, but since I have this path memorized, I'm just gonna go ahead of him. It's gonna change uh, each day, so if you're not doing this on day one, you can't use what I'm doing right now. You'll have to follow the monkey to get to her. And I've always done this on day one, so I can't even, I don't even know the way to or on day two or day three, but day one is pounded into my mind. So she needs something to help give her more energy. Make your way back to Kotake. See if she has anything for her sister. So she's obviously quite shocked that Cone was um, taken up, overtaken by the Skull Kid. So she gives you your first bottle! Yay! And it has red potion inside! Yay! Don't be greedy and drink it for yourself. You'll have to pay for more. Okay, so this bottle is the first bottle of six. Yes, that's right, six bottles. Majora's Mask has the most empty bottles you can collect in any Zelda game. 
You'll probably see why later on when you need to get a lot of stuff in bottles. Yes, I do. That's why I'm here. Jeez. Nag, nag, nag. Tag. <laughs> yeah. can take the boat cruise. That swarm! We've been watching you. So we have to save their brother. Fun. Once again, we're having people say what we're gonna do without actually agreeing to anything. Okay, so mm, we rescued Comb and learned our next next task is to help the monkey brother. So that's. I think this is a good part to leave off the video. So next time we'll con ah, ah, ah. we'll continue with more uh, exploring of the southern swamp. So I will see you in tomorrow with more of Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask.